Am I in focus? Am I in focus, diva? Sorry for abandoning you. Um, actually, we're not gonna talk about that. I didn't even say anything. I didn't, I don't even- I, I think I say- oh. This is episode two in the series of learning Korean. It's been a while, even though I just said I wouldn't talk about- I have still been continuously studying Korean. There is no reason why I shouldn't have already been fluent. The only reason why I'm not is because consistency. I'm taking this very fuck. Seriously, I'm gonna take you through studying with me. If you're fluent in Korean and you want to help me, go ahead and message me. My okay dog, potato dog, coffee. Can't see, but on the TV, I have stray kids. <laughs> la, la, just feel just gonna study. I'm not in focus. We're just gonna study. <laughs> Starting off by just rereading all the sections that I've read so far. Maybe I'll read a couple more, but just rereading them over and over and over and over and over again because how do you learn anything through repetition? You're just repeating it over and over and over again until you memorize stuff. So you absolutely need consistency because if you learn, I mean, it's like with dancing when I learned K-pop dances. If I learn a dance and I perform it and it's done and if I never go back to it, I'm completely gonna forget it and I have to relearn it over and over again. <laughs> This app is called Mimi because I have so many notes on my actual notes app already. So this is just my Korean notes that I'm taking. Hamnida means I do. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. I have another timer set now for 30 minutes and I'm just rereading stuff um, and looking up, you know, definitions. And something that Hyunu said is that ne anio it expresses agreement to what the person is saying. If we're speaking English and I ask you, oh, you don't like black coffee, you would go no. But I can see why that would be confusing. Like versus if I, if we're speaking Korean and I go, oh, do you not like black coffee? And you go yes. Like you're agreeing with what I'm saying. Like yes. I don't like black coffee. Like, yes, that statement is correct. You can see that why that would be confusing if I go, oh, you don't like black coffee, and you go, no. Because that could be like, oh, no, you're disagreeing with my statement. You do like black coffee? I'm going journey, keep building me down. Yeah. Something I'm noticing too is the translation for Korean is very literal, which honestly makes it very easy. Like Hamnida, which means I am sorry. So Chosung means apology. And hamnida means I do. So you're literally going apology I do. So I noticed that ibnida is ibnida, ibnida. Also, if you are fluent in Korean, please feel free to go ahead and correct my pronunci pronunciation. But ibnida is used a lot at the end of sentences. And now that I understand what it means, it makes things so much easier to get. Like I might not understand the full sentence yet but i'm on high native right now and the answer that they gave for ibnida korean phrase ibnida is a polite and formal way to say is or am in english it is used to describe a state or condition of something or someone so it's basically the example they gave was e tegen e tegen this book is good. Here, ibnida is used to describe the state or condition of the book, indicating that it's good. So I, it clicked because ibnida is giving the book, attaching the identity of the book as good. I'm hearing it a lot and it's making a lot more sense now. So that's why like when you're introducing yourself and saying your name, chonin indigo ibnida, indigo, is my name. Today I'm practicing Korean for like three hours. Um, the, I, we're about to go fucking ham, okay? No. You can never know that. No, don't I'm not. 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 I'm not
예요. 이름이 뭐예요? 안녕. 반가워. 반가워. 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나. 만나. 서. 반갑습니다. 이름 이 음. 아니요. 이름 이름이? 어 이름이 뭐예요? 인디고님도 안녕 안녕 안녕. 안녕. Okay, guys, I basically just had my first <laughs> Korea lesson. So I'm using this app called Hello Talk. I paid for the membership, but I immediately canceled it. It's not gonna like renew next month, but it is free to go on the live streams. It is free. They are a Korean teacher. And they literally gave a whole entire lesson for free. The notes that I took, this focus, girl, whatever. And then at the end, basically, she asked if anyone wanted to come on and like practice. And I was saying it, and she was saying I was doing a good job. And girl, there are so many apps to learn languages, and you honestly don't have to spend any money. I'm just gonna interject really quickly. While I do still agree with this statement, um, I would say, and please correct me if I'm wrong, every single language app that I've downloaded and I will link them all below, all have a paywall. The first couple lessons are free or this part is free, but in order to fully experience it, you have to do this. And I do think it is kind of fucked up, but I do believe that you can be able to learn Korean and just any language in general for free. Talking to a bunch of people now that are fluent in Korean and they're helping me and I'm helping them learn English. I guess this won't be like, cause I thought this was just gonna be a day of me learning Korean, but maybe I'm starting to think this is gonna be my progress. But these are the apps that I have. Um, I use Typing King, I think it's what it's called to just practice. And then here's another one. What is it? Story Korean. It just helps me read, practice reading Korean faster. I also, I don't know if you guys do this, but they have these, you know where somebody just like goes around and like records them like walking around the scenery. There's a channel called Soul Walker and I click the ones where they're in the city because they pass by signs and I basically just read the signs to, to practice more, to get faster at reading and I definitely am getting quicker. Talk to me in Korean level one. I'm gonna go eat food and study more. Slay. Annyeong. Annyeong. See you in the next clip. See you in the next clip. Boom. Oh, I just hit my camera. It's been a couple days since I last recorded. I have been practicing every single day. Also, look what I got. Ah! Slay. Hello Talk, which I'm on literally every single day talking to people. But I got another app called How to Study Korean. I re-downloaded Quizlet and I made my own like Quizlet. Practicing like time, like hour, shigan, tam, night, stuff like that. And then, you know, the basic uh, Korean phrases. And um, I also, update, finally got a journal dedicated to Korean. It's freaking huge. I'll show you my notes. I hate writing in pencil. I really hate writing in pencil so much. So you see I caved. But these are just some of my notes and I might trace over them in pen. I'm so serious. Now I'm watching uh, Minji teaches Korean. I just found her and I'm just writing notes and understanding when to use in and nun and e and ga. I also watched Talk To Me In Korean uh, Hyunwoo's video. And honestly, like, cause Hyunwoo was saying not only foreigners are confused by it, cause we don't have that in English, or for English speaking foreigners are confused by it, cause we don't have that in English. But he actually said some Koreans get confused with it too, which is funny. I'm gonna look at uh, sentence structure. Hi everyone, so just an update and I wanted to close out the video. So one, I found a new app called Memrise and it's really, really good because they have people, videos of people speaking the phrases, using it in like actual, like everyday situations. Also, I'm getting really like much, much better um, reading Korean now, like much faster now, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, I didn't close out the video, so I'm gonna close it out now. If you guys, I mean, I, I'm gonna do more of these videos regardless, 
but let me know if you guys want me to do a video where I'm like actually going over like specific lessons and stuff um but yeah this is just a compilation of me learning so yeah okay annyeong